Hi, my name is Ivy Starnes, and I'm a gated horse trainer in Fort Worth, Texas. And this is head down video number four. If you haven't seen one, two, and three, please go back and watch those because these videos are built on one another. Meaning the first video answers a lot of questions that I'm not gonna review in this video and in each video. This horse is originally ridden with a big shanked bit. Now we do switch bits to the McGregor releasing bit partway through the video, but what we're really talking about is, is a quote unquote hard mouthed horse. So this video is a really good example of a horse who when you would put contact on the reins, he just would ignore it. Uh, now he wasn't running away or fast, he was very well behaved, but he wouldn't soften and give to the bit. And you could categorize this as a, as a horse that is a hard mouth. Now, it doesn't directly relate to horses that are going too fast or running away, but if you do this training, this softness training, it helps with every aspect of riding, including slowing down. Now, generally, if you brought this horse to me for training, I would immediately switch him to a snaffle, and I would do all of this training in a snaffle at home in an enclosed area, such as an arena or round pen, until he was very soft, and then if you felt like you could ride in a bigger bit, um, just to make sure you're safe. But we're gonna switch the McGregor, but I'd normally, if I was at home and not at a clinic, I would show you the bit, I would do it in a snaffle. And this is what I recommend, even if you trail ride in a shanked bit. So this, I believe, is a Tennessee walking horse. And we are just working on softness. So you can see the shanks are huge and I don't recommend them. But this is what he was ridden before he came. Um, and he's not super high headed, he's not super fast, but he was very resistant to giving. So you see right there, I put a little bit of contact and you see his first reaction is to throw his head up and to put his nose out. He doesn't soften. A lot of people tell you you want a shanked bit because it makes him softer. That is not true. Sometimes it'll make them listen because of the pain but even that is a little bit iffy. So I'm riding him around and I'm holding really, I'm trying to hold the lightest bit of contact because it's so huge. Um, and he just puts his nose out and it's a really good example. Lots of horses do this, even they don't have quite so, such big shanks. Um, I believe here I'm gonna switch to the McGregor releasing bit um, just because I, I just don't like riding with shanks that big. I'm a pretty good rider, but even I don't trust uh, my hands in this situation. So putting a shorter shanked bit on, we skip that part. So now it's the McGregor releasing bit and I'm doing the same training. So at the walk, um, I'm asking him to soften. So I hold very light contact and the very first sign of him tucking his nose or like chewing, I'm going to release because I'm looking for the slightest try. And for him, it's not always quick. I'm So you'll see me release and, and there isn't a big give. It's not like he tucked his nose really big. It's just that he did something that was a little bit softer. And some horses are like, that was a nice give there. Some horses are like that where when you first start doing this and this once they learn it, you don't have to go back and teach it, but when they're first learning it, you may need to give for the very slight try. There was a nice job I should have released. Holding light, light contact, very, very light. I don't get harder. And again, I'm not looking for his head to go down. I mean, I do want it to go down, but I, what I want him is to soften. Right there, I release. And again, it wasn't because his head went down, it was because he softened. He gave me that give at the atlas joint. He broke at the pole or gave me vertical flexion. And I'm holding very, very light contact. Remember we showed in the first video, my contact was usually less than a pound. And that's very true even with this horse. Now, if I need to turn, I'll pull a little bit harder than a pound. But if I'm asking him to soften, you'll see very, very loose, very, very quiet reins. Asking him to give. I'm asking him to stay on the circle so my inside rein has more contact. And he can feel it. But I just wait, and that's the biggest thing, is right there is a little bit of a give, and so I released. And I said, keep walking. He was trying to go to the mounting block. 
this and he his head is a lot lower than we started not because i held contact until his head went down but because i'm teaching him to give to pressure this video is pretty short there's only about three and a half more minutes to this one but it's so important because this is a horse that wasn't very big when he gives because he had a big shank in his mouth and he was kind of, well, again, what we call quote unquote dead in that he didn't listen to the rider's signal without a lot of pull and I just stay light. So it's super important that you stay light and don't get harder. Same here. So I've been holding the pressure for a little while and I just wait. I don't pull harder. I could have released right there because he opened his mouth and kind of swallowed or at least it tried to, but I didn't. I'm continuing to hold very light pressure. If he st tries to stop, I'll use my legs and say, keep going. But I'm looking for him, that softness, holding very, very light contact. Probably should have gone on a smaller circle, but he's a really big horse. that I can't tell if you can tell or not, and so I didn't want to make him go on a really small circle. There he softened a little, and I released, going over the pole. And again, unlike the last horse who was going fast, you can give this horse a loose rein and he doesn't rush, but he doesn't soften. He does the opposite. He doesn't really throw his head up too much in this bit, but he just completely ignores it. And I want you to see, and so right, he st I don't remember why I stopped, but I'm holding that light contact. I'm not going harder. I'm not pulling on him really hard. I'm, and I probably should have released there. Uh, I, it's so bad when you watch videos of yourself and you're like, I should have done that better but I'm, I'm waiting, I'm just waiting, just walking around, it's very quiet, very softened, and I notice a big loose rein, and look at, he drops his head a little bit on the loose rein, not when I was holding contact, but when I softened, or when I dropped the reins, or when I released, and I stop and praise for that. It's a short video, but it shows, I feel, really well, how horses need that softness training. Now, what I don't show in that video is when I, where what we would want to continue doing is doing that until he's very soft like we showed you in video one and then you'd ask him to speed up go slowly and give you that same level of softness because when you add speed that softness is going to go away it's going to be back to head eye and ignoring the bit and so you have to do the training at the walk trot and canter to have it be consistent again we hold that contact until they soften, but we don't pull harder and harder and harder. There is not a level of phases. You're just going to maintain that same soft contact. And if your horse is tossing their head, you're probably actually, the, it, the bit doesn't fit or do, the horse doesn't like it. Not fit. The horse doesn't like it or you're pulling too hard. <clears throat> I had a clinic where a lady brought a horse and he's like, my horse is tossing his head all the time. What's wrong? And I watched her ride. And I said, I think you're holding the reins too tight. She's like, I'm not holding them too tight. Well, I get on and the horse doesn't toss the head once. But of course, I'm very, very light. I mean, I'm, I showed you, I'm, I'm super soft. And I had her get back on. I said, he won't toss his head if you lighten up. And we had to have her go around multiple times. And I had to keep saying, nope, that's too hard. Nope, that's too hard. And when she finally got soft enough, her horse completely stopped tossing the head. Now, that's not the case every time, but it's a case that was fixed simply because she thought she was being light, but she wasn't. She didn't realize. So try to be really light, and that's why I encourage riding in a snaffle. Okay, good luck. That was video four. Next video, number five. If you haven't seen the videos one through three, please watch those first. You got this.